it's on my heart and it's been on my mind to say this for a while, but yesterday it was really racking me. So I'm gonna go ahead on and say it. I want you to know that holding on to a placeholder is self-sabotage. I spoke to someone um, after I had my baby and she was basically talking about how, oh, I don't want kids and this, that, and the other. And I'm looking at her and you could tell when someone is not being genuine. So I'm just letting her ramble on talking about what she claims she does and doesn't want. She talked about how she didn't want to be married, how she doesn't want all these things. And I'm looking and I'm just like, honestly, you don't even believe what you're saying. And I figured out what the problem is. Because the person that she is with, and I'm going to call him a placeholder because if the Lord put all these passions and all these desires in your heart and it aligns with purpose, you're not going to sit here and tell me that you all of a sudden don't want that when internally you do want it. The problem is the placeholder. The guy that she is with doesn't want that. So she's lying to herself, telling herself that she doesn't want it either because she would rather have someone than to risk not having someone and um, not knowing when the next opportunity would come to be able to have someone and then have what she actually wants. These placeholders, these guys, I would strongly suggest that if if the guy that you are talking to does not align with the purpose that God has for you and the desires that God, that you know for sure, I'm not talking about your own carnal fleshly desires. I'm talking about the real desires that the Lord himself has put inside of your heart, put in your spirit to go after. If he doesn't align with that, go ahead and let him go. The whole idea of, oh, it's been years. Um, we've been together for so long. I don't want to start over. I don't want this and that dead. Let him go because you're sabotaging what you're It's self sabotage. It literally is self sabotage. You are choosing to live in lack. You're choosing to live without experiencing the abundance of what the Lord has for you. And if you think for one second that it's just going to all of a sudden go away just because you have the person there, you're wrong. 10 years from now, the, the desire, and then it'll, for, it'll go from being a desire to regret that you never just took the opportunity to say, hey, it's no hard feelings. We just don't align. Um, I'm thankful for the lessons and things that I have learned from you and you maybe have learned from me, but it's time for us to go our separate ways. He could go find somebody else that wants to live the way he wants to live. And you could go find somebody that is in alignment with God's purpose and will for your life. You want to be a wife, cut it out. Cause I know somebody right now that was just talking all that crap to me about how she didn't want to get married and blah, 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 and this is this and this is that. And as soon as that man proposed, guess where she was? But you didn't want to get married less than a month ago. Remember? Stop trying to convince yourself that you can't have what the Lord purposed for you to have just because the guy, the placeholder that you're holding on to doesn't want it. That's none of your business. Let him go. Let that go. And go ahead on and get ready to receive. And timing too. Timing. Don't think that just because you let the person go that, you know, give yourself time. Really sit with yourself, sit with the Lord and see what it is that you should be focused on while you wait for the arrival of the kingdom man, of the guy that the Lord has for you that aligns with what, you know, what you're trying to work towards. Don't rush like, I don't know where the mindset comes from. Like, oh, I need him now. I need him now. Who, you need what? Who what now? Just relax. Because that's honestly how you got that placeholder in the first place. Hopping from person to person. Not being able to sit and be with yourself. Like, kids always leave something on your clothes. 
But yeah, just, girl, I just, I just felt, I just really needed to, to go ahead on and say this. Because the girls are settling on purpose and, and it's just not fair to you. You have to know that there is hope. You have to know that there is someone for you that aligns with, you know, because the same way you want that, there's a guy out there right now that has a placeholder himself, has a girl that doesn't want any of the things that he wants in life, but he's afraid to let go because he thinks that he won't be able to um, find somebody else. And stop thinking that you won't be able to do better, find better. You will be able to find what you're up to par with. If, if you, if spiritually, mentally, emotionally, you are down here, then you're going to stay with your placeholder. It's time, buck up. It's time to buck up. Buck up. And walk, walk like, like you are deserving of what the Lord put inside of you. Buck up. Let, let that man go. And if it's a guy listening to this, I really prefer to be speaking to the ladies, but if you take something from it, let her go. Mm -mm. Let me do my face. Bye. And let me just go ahead on and make this little disclaimer because I know the girls like to get in their feelings and not everybody wants to. No one's talking to you. This video was for the girls that know what they want and they're trying to suppress what they want to keep a man or to just have someone around i'm not talking to the oh not everyone wants to be married not everyone wants kids not everyone no one is i'm not talking to you i don't even live that life so i'm not going to be talking to someone that i can't relate i'm not talking to you i just want to make that clear because I, I i know how y'all like to get down real defensive about i'm not i'm not talking to you Go in peace. Uh -huh.